ice, get it chocolate. Throw the gang when I walk into my block list. Got my ex tryna put me on a. What's up, everyone? It's your boy Abe, back with another gym performance and gym session video. You guys seem to really enjoy these, so I want to continue putting these out. This workout emphasis is on rotational crossover explosiveness and strength, which I'd argue is the most important aspect since it prepares the body for quick change of directional movements. Since footballers are multi-directional athletes, they need to master safe landing and exploding in multiple ways. Also, don't forget to hit that like button, it'll only take you two seconds. So first things first, after our 10 or 15 warm up, we dove straight into a quick rotational jump and stability bounce. I always include a two footed jump followed by a single leg bounder hop. So for that rotational jump, making sure you load down as quickly as possible, get out even quicker as soon as we land that first jump, get out and land into the second one. As for the rotational bound, our goal is to master the stability onto one leg. So notice how we start up at the top and we load down. As we load down, we begin to rotate and explode out, landing back into that one leg, not resetting until I own that stable position. Now going on to our speed work, I love working on my crossovers, which is not something I find so often in the footballing community, maybe because coaches don't see the value or understand it, but essentially the crossover should be a staple for every footballer as it dictates how efficient your change of direction, stability, and speed is going to be. If you cannot hammer down the proper body angles, be stable, or use momentum to your advantage, you are limiting yourself as a footballer. So when you go out and try these for yourself, I want you to pay very close attention to the little things such as body position, foot placement, and even the direction our eyes are looking at. And of course, look at the intent of how fast and explosive we want to be. And real quick guys, if you are enjoying what you are seeing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. And also you do not want to miss out any of my high quality content that I continuously put out. Right after the plows and speed work, we went into our lift, beginning with the trap bar deadlift, focusing on max strength, which is why we went low repetitions of six. I want to add that this is the money maker right here, and one of my favorites due to its ability to transfer to many movements on the pitch for explosiveness and speed. Also, not to mention it's really easy to do, many muscles are involved, and a lot safer than the back squat and conventional deadlift. But that's not to say you shouldn't do the latter over the former, because I still do them all. Immediately after that, we went into a dynamic groin stretch, also known as a frog stretch. You have probably seen this one on my channel before, and there is a reason why I continue to do it. Try it out for yourself, and you'll see why. The last exercise of the strength block is a bent over supported one arm row, a great exercise forcing you to become stable while you pull that elbow behind and work on the back muscles. We did these back to back which equaled one set and performed them for three sets. And again, if you like what you are seeing, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. I am active on there every single day. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer you there. And I always put out high quality content exclusively to Instagram. After our main block, we went into our accessory exercises, which comprise of cable pulldowns, 
rack position split squats, lateral elbow plank holds, and some bicep curls for the guns. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like always, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, drop a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram where I do upload exclusive content just for you guys. If you want to see more like this, check out the other videos on my channel. I got plenty of these and I'll see you on the next one.